Hello and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. You join me tonight for another Tabletop Gaming Live and this evening we'll be playing the 1-4 to four player tabletop game Exit the Game The Pharaoh's Tomb from Thames and Cosmos. If you're brand new to the channel, click the heart to follow the live Twitch stream weeknights Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 7pm. Also, be sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to receive notifications from YouTube for the latest videos and updates. And now, on with the show. First and foremost, this is an escape room style of game. That being the case, we do have the spoiler alert. Everything that you see in the game is, of course, a potential spoiler if you were intending to go and purchase this particular copy. The great thing about the Exit games is that there's a whole range of them, all with different themes, all with different puzzles. So as much as we're going to take a look at the Pharaoh's Tomb tonight, if you enjoy this style of game, you can purchase a different one from the range and, of course, not have it spoilt. All right, and guys, are you ready? Here we go, then. Let's open up. Let's see what we've got. What's the game about? Let's read this out. You are traveling with a tour group in Egypt. Your visit to the Valley of the Kings is the highlight of your vacation. You find the tomb of Tutankhamun especially spellbinding. Inside, you notice that you have lost the rest of the group. As you wander through the passageways, your fascination gradually turns to panic. Suddenly, you find yourself in a mysterious burial chamber and you hear a frightening sound. The stone door closes behind you, blocking your escape. As you look around, you'll discover a dust-covered notebook and an ancient disc. The entire tomb seems to be covered with riddles. You will only be able to escape if you manage to so solve all of the riddles in time. If not, you will be buried under stone forever. All we have is this notebook that we found on the floor. Uh, notes of Dr. Ford. We have this strange disc. With multiple slidey wheels to it. And then we have a deck of cards. I'm going to split these cards into various groups. So what do we have? We have riddle cards. We have answer cards. And then we have help cards. So I guess the first thing we should do is we pick up the notebook and uh, let's see what it says. For five days, I've been trying to find a way out of this burial chamber. Hopeless. I can't go any further. My supplies are running low. If something does not happen soon, this will become my burial chamber too. I made notes in this book about everything that I was able to find out. What might I have overlooked? The ancient Egyptians and chocolate ice cream were always my greatest passions. That they could become my doom is something I never would have imagined possible. Presumably, whoever is reading this book will be in a similar predicament to the one I am in now. If only I had listened to the advice of the locals. Hurry or the burial chamber will close its gates forever. That's what they said, but I didn't want to listen. Dr. H. Ford. A number of uh, hieroglyphics at the top there. If you want to enter through this door, you must follow these lines of instructions. Look for the numbers hidden in the picture of my burial chamber on page 10. And don't let the writing on this page lead you astray. Keep your eyes focused on what's important. Always be careful not to overlook anything. Some numbers are extremely difficult to see. Only with careful observation can you be sure to find these very sought after numbers and thus discover the correct solution for this riddle. So shall we continue to look through the book? What do we have here? We have numbers from zero to nine on this side of the page. We have some kind of, uh, I don't know, lines with letters. It says C as in, there's a large space. And then down at the bottom, we have more lines going to hieroglyphic symbols. Could it all mean, oh my goodness. So this is a grid with what look like color splotches, all with numbers. Some wonderful, it looks like wall art. We then have Cleopatra's game. 
D before B, A after C, C switches with D and B before A. What could that mean? We then have a series of uh, numbers in bubbles. Now this is the page it was referring to. This is Tutankhamun's burial chamber. So again, this is worth scrutinizing. Do we see anything of interest? Again, more symbols, but uh, we don't really have any context, do we? The very final page, we have a grid. Again, lots and lots of hieroglyphics. Pick up card M, I think. Well, indeed, ah, we yes. So we have a discarded riddle card. Let's pick up card M. What do we have? We have a symbol at the top. Imagine what if. That are the lower parts of the numbers. Last one could be a six or an eight. Ah, I see, I see what you're, you're saying. The first is a, a three or maybe a five. All right. Oh, wow. You guys are already on the case. So you think it's 508. We have this dial. If we look at the symbol at the top of the card, and here is the symbol on the dial. The way that it works is we have to rotate these so that we get then a number. And that number represents one of the answer cards. Is that symbol also on a page in the book? Let's, okay, let's take a look. It's on the coffin. I can, I can see it in the coffin, most definitely. Let's just point it out. There it is. There's the symbol. We, so we have a number and you guys are suggesting 508. I think that that definitely looks like a five, doesn't it? Or potentially it could be a five. We, we need to work out a way of translating 508 into hieroglyphs because we've got to be able to do it on this dial. What else have we got? Have we got anything else that might be able to help us? Because this is our only source of information that we get, we have in front of us. What's that? Flip, flip back. What? Stop. What we're looking, what we're looking for? The same symbol. Oh, you mean this symbol? Is that the same symbol as on the ice cream? Have you spotted something? It is. Look, it is. So we know that the ice cream relates to this puzzle somehow. So there is also a green line on the first card as a green line on the pick of our room. Let's take a look at that. Oh, right. Yes. Oh, good, good call. No, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 308, it's mirrored. Yes, yes, exactly. We're looking at a mirror, aren't we? All right, excellent, excellent. Right, so we've changed our number. We've got 308, but what do we do now? We still need to work out how to get these numbers into a language that we can use. If you want to enter through this door, you must follow these lines of instructions. Look for the numbers hidden in the picture of my burial chamber on page 10. And don't let the writing on this page lead you astray. Keep your eyes focused on what's important. Always be careful not to overlook anything. Some numbers are extremely difficult to see. Only with careful observations can you be sure to find these very sought after numbers and thus discover the correct solution for this riddle. So, Lorna, find 10 symbols in a row somewhere. Snowyak, or can you fold this page on the line? Lorna saying fold the page on the line. Yeah, we've got a line here. All right. Oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. It seems so obvious now. <laughs> Okay, so what number were we going? Was it 308? We've got the wings, three, then it's the fish, then it is the sphinx, yes? Scarab, fish, sphinx, let's go with that. So it's telling us we have to go and get card 19. Uh, the code may be right. Where do you see the code symbol? Where did we find the symbol? Where was it? The coffin. Super! The sarcophagus is open. Next to the remains of Tutankhamun, you find riddle cards C, F, and U, along with the strange green item. Take the green item out of the box uh, and the riddle cards from the stack and look at them. Card C. When Cleopatra plays, she always reads from bottom to top. Oh my goodness. 
So here we have all these connecting lines. Amun Ray, Ramesses. I can't even try and say that. Akhenten, Akhenten. Cubes. Oh. And then we have another book. This is definitely a scarab, isn't it? Uh, it says, open me. And we have the triangular device. Oh, right. Okay. I see what you're saying. So do you think this needs to go here? I think this might be one of those situations where you would actually cut this out of the card. I'm not quite sure I want to do that. Can I create an illusion there so we can see how that goes in there? We should make it ice because there's also the same diamond shape. Oh, oh, snow, you're onto something, aren't you? Yes, yes. Oh, here we go. We have the diamond shape on the ice cream here. So if snow suggesting that the actual word is ice, I-C-E, then we do we follow these down. But how do we know which path? Because that then takes us to these symbols, doesn't it? Which will go into the codex. So yes, which name on top? C as in Cheops. So you're suggesting that maybe it goes this way. From what I can see here, the I goes down to the bird. The C goes to the, the bell. And the E goes down to the Sphinx. So is that bird, bell, Sphinx? So this is the diamond puzzle. Where did we see the code? You have opened the scarab casket. You find riddle cards A, I, and Q. Here we go. Puzzle card A. When Tutankhamun plays, he only sees every other... Something blurred out. Starting with the first. Riddle card I. Oh, a sketch of Imhotep's palace. We have the garden, the colonnade, the bedchamber, the washing chamber, the courtyard, the half, the audience hall, the altar, and the reception hall. And card Q, we get a plus symbol. Uh, a, B, C, and D. And with matching hieroglyphs. Do you think that this and this might be the same puzzle? We're going to start here and work our way up. And we're moving these tiles following these instructions. So B before A. C switches with D. A would go after C. And D would go before B. But the thing is, this is giving us a code of four symbols. And we can only input three into the wheel. Let's look for plus signs. We need to scrutinize this book. This is true, Lord Not Not everything is useful right away. Well, here we go. Hang on. When Tutum uh, Carmoon plays, he only sees every other something starting with the first. Okay, you guys, are you working it out? If you want to enter through this door, you must follow these lines of instructions. Look for the numbers hidden in the picture of my burial chamber on page 10. And don't let the writing on this page lead you astray. Keep your eyes focused on what's important. Always be careful not to overlook anything. Some numbers are extremely difficult to see. Only with careful observation can you be sure to find these very sought-after numbers and thus discover the correct solution for this riddle. What are you saying there, Snow? 9182. Are you sure? Remember, every, everything in the codex works in freeze. Does somebody want to tell me what the hierog hierog hieroglyphs is going to be? All right, let's see what we get. Uh, da -da -da. There we go. There's a square puzzle. Uh, the code might be right. Where do you see the code symbol? The door to the burial chamber opens. You come to the treasure chamber of the great Tutankhamun. All right, here we go. L. 
When Cleopatra plays, she only sees the last three slabs. There we go. This is the card that we needed. We can now do this one, but we'll come back to that in a second. Ah. In Nefertiti's game, at errors she aims. If they don't get pierced, nothing gets found. It's very cryptic. Oh, 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 look at this. Oh, this is the treasure chamber. I'll let you guys scrutinize the chamber for a moment. We got, we got Nefertiti's. We'll put that to one side because we can jump on Cleopatra uh, straight away here, can't we? All right, so here we go. When Cleopatra plays, she always reads from bottom to top. And when Cleopatra plays, she only sees the last three slabs. She's very demanding is our Cleo. And so we then have the slabs just here. So does somebody want to tell me what is the combination of symbols? No, I, I don't want letters. Letters don't work for Cleo. We want symbols. So FX is saying ship, scarab, and bird plus. So ship, scarab, bird. Oh, which which bird though? Oh, it's, it's the it's the squawky bird. The Nile goose. That's it. Yes, yes, I, I please. Yes, let's use the right terms. I, I I kind of want some sort of you know Stargate sound for this turning round. I think I will find a soundbite for it. Seventh glyph locked. Perfect. The chest is open. You find riddle cards B and R and the strange red item. So uh, what do you guys think of this game thus far? Is this a, the type of game you would enjoy playing? You think you should, we should do these type of games more often? All right, let's take a look at these riddles what do we have riddle b riddle me this cover no more than needed but cover all the brown with the bed chamber cover all the green with the garden cover all the red with the reception hall cover all the blue with the washing chamber cover all the blue with the colonnade and cover all the yellow with the half Wow, all right. Well, we do know in here, this is the chart, and it's obviously talking about this. We're going to have to place this somewhere so that all the brown are in the bedchamber. Where would all the brown be in the bedchamber? How can you cover? We'll come to that one in a moment. Oh, my goodness. So we have... A hexagon, we have a whole load of tiles. Uh, orange and yellows and creams and pink. So what we could do, let's see if we can, let's, let's try it out. Let's see how these work. To solve this riddle, you will have to have found riddle card T. You will also need page seven in the book. Decipher the instructions on card T. Some of it has to be understood literally. Page, oh, oh, okay. Oh, here we go. We've not really looked at page seven. So in Nefertiti's game, at errors she aims. If they don't get pierced, nothing gets found. There's definitely a lot of Indiana Jones references here, isn't there? Oh yeah, leather jacket. Are we looking, are we need to find a bullwhip or a fedora at some point? So basically, we are looking for errors. If they don't get pierced, nothing gets found. Ah, <laughs> okay, I think I've worked it out. Have you guys worked this out? You have to nail the page, yes. If you look on the other side, look at all the numbers. So, looking at the leather jacket, 
the leather jacket would hit number five. Great, the mask is opened. You find riddle cards J and P. Draw over the tiles, but only these. Ah, strange. Here we go. Hexagonally, yeah, here we go. We may have a link here. Without the palace, you are lost, but the sketch will only help up to a point. You need the blue original. Let's rock, spoke Imhotep as he destroyed his original palace. Okay, so this looks like this is part of this one. There might be more to be found. Okay, so starting at the top, it says that we can draw. We have to draw the fish. We draw the boat. So I can see fish, boat, fish, scarab, eye, bird, fish, bird, eye, eye, <laughs> bird. This is going to get boring very quickly, isn't it? Bird, bird, bird. That's, it's, it's not a bird, it's a goose, isn't it? Goose, fish, eye, Boat, goose, goose, scarab, goose, scarab, goose, scarab, goose, will you do the fandango? Oh, 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 oh. Is, is, is that a number? Can we see a number? Is that a seven? Ding dong. Excellent. Look at us. We rock. <laughs> <laughs> and they said that this one was difficult. Show me the hexagon. Doesn't look like it's on the treasure chamber. I can't see the hexagon anywhere. We've potentially solved this and we can't do it because we're, we're not. So I think it's, it's in a room that we haven't got to yet. Well, it said with the Imhotep's palace, we needed to get the original, didn't we? Uh, without the palace, you are lost, but the sketch will only help up to a point. You need the blue original. I think you're right. There's obviously more to this. So let's rock, spoke Imhotep. Cut the palace. Well, how, how or where do we cut? So we have everything but one item. But that one item is obviously somewhere else. It's locked behind another puzzle. We've done this puzzle. We've done that one. We haven't used this page. This is what we know. We've just used that. We haven't dealt with this page. And this is the, uh, the final puzzle. But I think that's probably where we should end it tonight. <laughs> okay. Oh, very clever. Very clever indeed. Are you seeing it? <laughs> so still not quite sure how this fits in, but what what a what an awesome, awesome uh additional sort of layer. That was very, very clever. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, joining on in. Glad you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see what happens next time. Uh, but until then, bye for now.